Welcome all. This is Shija sir. I hope you still remember the portions we have learned in our 9th standard. Today we are going to study about the first part in the first chapter of biology stimulus and response. Look at the picture. Something happening in your tongue. I know something happened. What do you think the poor girl is feeling? Is she happy, sad or scared? And this, what about this? Is he comfortable? Look at his actions. What is he actually doing? And this man seriously suffers from sunburn, right? Really? No, just the opposite. What actions made you say that he's called? Is he crying? What do you think? Can you think of any instance that made him cover his ears? And look here, cute baby just tasted citrus fruits. Don't you see that cute and cuddly expression? Looking at this picture, something stinking. Anyway, the man feels that way. Right? See, we have just seen some pictures representing some actions, feelings and expressions like scary girl, freezing man, man covers his ears, small kids facial expression and so on. Biologically speaking, all these generated because of the changes happened in the situations and surroundings. Take the tamarind one example. When we see tamarind, we automatically produce saliva. Our mouth waters. We may wish to taste it. See, the watering of the mouth is the response here. Sight is the sensation here. And light is the stimulus. Look at the figure 2. The sour taste of that fruit made her look funny. Sour taste acts as stimulus. And the facial expression is a response. So the stimulus means the senses that evoke responses in organisms. The senses that evoke or generate responses in organisms. They are known as stimuli. Now, can you guess the stimulus and response here? These stimuli are of two types. External stimuli and internal stimuli. External stimuli. External stimuli are changes outside the body or knowledge that is passed to us through our senses or sense organs. There are some examples. Temperature variation, light variation, sound, smell, taste, touch, pain. These are external stimuli. But if you take internal stimuli, these are changes which happen inside the body. Examples, thirst, hunger, blood pressure variation, presence of pathogens, pathogens means bacteria, virus and so on, 
hormonal variation emotional imbalance means anxiety tension depression etc lack of water and food presence of toxic substances variation in the components of blood variation in elements like sodium potassium calcium etc now we know what is stimulus so what is the definition of response yes how the organism reacts to a stimulus and results in a change in behavior we can otherwise say that any behavior of a living organism that results from an external or internal stimulus that change in behavior is generally known as response in our body we have receptors to receive these stimuli these are specialized cells in sense organs and other parts of the body to receive such external and internal stimuli they are known as receptors so receptors are specialized cells which can receive external and also internal stimuli look at the table for each sense organ there will be a specific receptor and stimulus if you take eye what are the receptors photoreceptors and the stimulus light if you take ear auditory receptors the stimulus sound what about nose receptors are olfactory receptors stimulus odor particles or smell producing particles if you take tongue receptors chemo receptors stimulus food materials if you take skin there are a number of receptors like touch pressure cold temperature and pain receptors and the stimuli may also different like touch pressure cold temperature and pain how do response form when receptors receive stimuli there will be suitable impulses generated in the receptors impulses are nothing but electric signals so on receiving these stimuli suitable impulses generated in the receptors these impulses generated by the receptors reach the brain and responses occur look this flow chart stimulus received by receptors so there will generate yeah impulses those impulses carry to brain and in brain suitable responses occur okay good idea yes that's enough for today i hope you enjoyed the class thank you thank you very much